Barbara Boxer, we know her as the uh, senator from California, but she is also a novelist and she has another book out. Uh, Senator Boxer, uh, welcome. Let's talk about the book. It's called Blind Trust. And I'm just looking here at the uh, handout here. It's about California Senator Ellen Fisher, honest, tough, energetic, uh, strong advocate for children, liberal Democrat. Now, who is that modeled on Diane Feinstein? Or? <laughs> well, so she's got a little of <laughs> Diane in her. It's a, Ellen Fisher is my ideal. She's what I would like to be. And it's wonderful to create a character that is so perfect. <laughs> Well, now I noticed the arch villain is a Republican vice president, Craig Fulton. He's trampled on individual liberties. Uh, he has authorized wiretapping, surveillance, torture. Uh, now, who is that based on? Well, he's another composite <laughs> of a lot of folks. Does he have heart and, trouble? <laughs> no. As a matter of fact, he's young and handsome. He has a beautiful wife and a beautiful daughter who goes to UC Berkeley, so she's not so fond of her conservative dad, but it, you know, all my characters are composites of, uh, of people I know, and also they're, they live in my imagination. So <laughs> how did you start doing this? This is what, you're what, uh, how many books have you written? Well, I've written three, I published three books. Uh, the first was just a, um, it was called Strangers in the Senate. It was, it was more of a, it was a kind of semi biographical, but it was also about issues, so it was a nonfiction. But I'd always wanted to write a novel. I, I used to be a, a reporter, and I did in-depth stories on people. Let's say I was assigned to do an in-depth story on you, and it would take me a long time, and I would go back and forth and talk to a lot of people, and it was one of those joys of not having to have a deadline. You could just take your time. And I just loved writing, and then I got into politics, and writing just went away. But it is what I love to do. It's a hobby of mine, and um, as I say, other people play golf and tennis. I would love to, but I don't. And so this is my hobby. And those long plane rides, I get five hours, and, and I just love to write. I must say, my first novel was called A Time to Run. And there the critics said, well, all the Republicans were the villains and all the Democrats were the heroes. In this book, I have a lot of Republican heroes, as a matter of fact, Ellen is married to a moderate Republican who is just a great guy. And the FBI uh, director is a great guy. There's lots of uh, Republican heroes, too. So what do you do on these long plane rides? You just sit down and, and you think of the characters first or you think of the plot first? Well, well before I sit down to write it, now that I've gone through a seven-year uh, time to write the first book. I said, this, I don't have seven years. I could be dead in seven years, so I have to hurry up. So first I found um, a partner to work with through my agent, and she's British, so she doesn't know anything about politics here, really. Uh, but she really does know how to write a novel, how to, how to go back, and whose voice to do it in. And so she's been fabulous. Mary Rose Hayes wrote this with me, so it, it took me three years to do the second one. But what we did on this one is I knew the plot. It's basically about a senator who's about to hold the biggest hearing of her life into abuse of power mm -hmm. by the vice president and the administration. And as a result of this, she becomes a target. And the terrible things that happen to her and who's involved in it, including a right-wing radio talk show host, my favorite character called Sam Slaughter. His show is called The Slaughterhouse. And he refers to himself as the slaughter man. And um, he's a slaughterer, all right. And I had to write his dialogue, which I, I really enjoyed doing. But the bottom line is, this time we did storyboards. We spelled out the chapters together. She came here. We went to the places that I want to focus on here, meaning Washington, DC. And uh, we did it in a much more organized way. Then I would say to her, I'm just writing the first four chapters. And I would sit on the plane, write the chapters in hand, go back, put it in my computer, email it to her. Then, you know, the arduous work begins. Mm -hmm. She'd rewrite, I'd rewrite her rewrites, <laughs> and we go on. You know, you're an author. Writing a book is about rewriting a book. Yep. And then I have a story editor who was very helpful. If, he, if we were getting off the track, he'd say, What's the point of having that character? It's not going anywhere. So it, it's been a, a wonderful thing for me. You know, I've never worked as hard in my day job as I'm working. 
And I think everybody needs to be able to get away mentally just a little bit. Uh, otherwise, I don't think you do your day job very well. And this is my escape. So uh, I guess the fun of fiction, and I've tried fiction before, and I, I'm, I'm just not good at it. Uh, uh, but I guess the fun is you can make the character say exactly what you want them to say. <laughs> yes. You don't have to get the quote that sort of halfway tells what you're trying to say. Well, it's, I think it's cathartic for me because what I try to do, Bob, is tell a good story. And people have said about this book that it's a real page turner, and I, I want that to be the case. But I also want people to learn something. And I think what they learn in this book many, many things, but how you feel alone when you're in the middle of a scandal, mm -hmm. how it feels, what it's like. People can't even imagine it unless they're, you know, in it. And I, I, I let, I, I, I really look at that. I also look at the stresses on families, and I look at the relationship between senators and their staff. This is very overlooked, the very close, important relationship it's such amazing loyalties that develop. And in this case, um, Ellen's chief of staff is someone she rescued. When she was a child, she was in deep trouble, an abandoned family, and the, the family abandoned her, and she was just in a lot of trouble. She was a street kid. And Ellen rescues her. Well, lo and behold, she grows up to be this terrific young woman. And then she's targeted also. Mm -hmm. So it, you begin to just see the background of what it's like to be a senator, but it's it's a, it's not like a tutorial. It's mm -hmm. just part of a story. Now you have a great husband uh, who's very supportive of yes. you and your Senate work. How does he feel about uh, being married to an author? <laughs> Stu is not surprised anymore at the things I do. When he met me, I was a cheerleader in college. No way did really? he ever. Yeah, <laughs> no way. I mean, I was a political science. Uh, an economics major. Economics was my major, political science was my minor, and I was always interested in politics. But neither of us ever dreamed any of this would happen. And he's just doesn't get surprised at anything. And at first he was, the first book, <laughs> the husband is killed off. Mm -hmm. So he was very offended at that. He said, wait, you're killing off the husband. And I said, it has nothing to do with you, darling. It's a whole other plot. How else could she get to the Senate? Because she was not in politics in the first book. She was in saving kids. The husband was in politics. He dies in a very tragic way. On the way to be elected to the Senate, she steps in and wins. And so he was a little offended, and he said, you know, I'll just wait till the end of the book. I'm, this is too painful. <laughs> but he's very sweet about it. He's he's very supportive, and you know, been married. I think it's forty eight years now, so I don't think anything surprises him anymore. <laughs> That's great. Barbara Boxer, senator from California, and also Barbara Boxer, the author. This is Washington Unplugged.